In the previous video, we did a basic overview of classes. Now in this one, we're going to work on structures. Now, as I said before, structures are generally used kind of as infor like data holders, information, that kind of thing. So, for example, in our Nazi Zombie Project, we have this structure here, F Weapon Damage. And that contains damage that it does to specific places. So if we, you know, we have a base damage that the weapon gives. If we get a headshot, we have this value as a multiplier. Chest shot does this much more. The stomach does this much more. And then we have a simple function that we can call to go ahead and get the whatever multiplier we have. So we return a damage amount. So we take the base damage, we multiply it by x value, whatever we hit, like a headshot for example, and we return that amount of damage to use. So that's what we're going to do here for our employee. So we're going to actually get rid of the employee class. So let's go employee.cpp, delete, employee.h, delete. And let's re go back to including person.h and change that to person and remove our set days worked and that kind of thing. So now we can compile like normal. In our person.h, what we're going to do is define a structure. So struct and then the name just like a class. So let's do employee data. Now you have constructors and all that kind of stuff just like normal, but I want to make this data public. So even though it is by default with structures. So let's see, uh, we'll add the exact same thing as before. So we'll have int days worked, int employee ID, and let's do, eh, actually we'll just leave it as two for now to keep it simple. So now we have our employee data structure. So what we can do is create that as a variable inside of the person class. So we're going to do employee data. Let's do employee data. Like so. Now we can take this, go into person, employee data dot, well, we could define default things here, or we can do them in here if we want to actually assign them values. So by default, I'm just going to do zero and employee ID equals zero. So now we want to go ahead and set this up so we can set the information. So I want to kind of access this directly just to show you you can do kind of things through a chain. So what I'm going to do is create a getter. So employee data, get employee data, and it's going to return employee data, like so. Then up here, what we're going to do is access that structure. So we have our inner days worked already, that this little guy right here. So we're going to do person dot get employee data dot days worked equals temp value. Let's see. Is it because I have it set to private? Ah, I'm guessing you have to be public. Let me just check real quick. Not assigned to the right value, so it cannot assign it to temp. That I'm not entirely sure why. So it's not too big of a deal because we can always get the information. So for example, I'm going to revert this back to getters instead. So let me create another little printout here. Person days worked. Person dot get employee data dot days worked. And that'll print that right out. So if I set this to five and the structure 
it prints out five for the days worked. So it carries over. So we want to actually set up setters right inside of here. So we're gonna go ahead and do a public void set days worked. Or we could even do that right inside the class, which in my opinion, I would do that instead. So I'm gonna revert this over to do that. So void set days worked and then void or sorry int get days worked we're going to return employee data dot days worked and then I want to do int get employee ID and we're going to return the employee ID we're going to have another function set employee ID int ID and we have to, on the set days work we're going to do int days worked or new days worked and new ID so let's create the two implementations like before and for set days worked we're just going to do employee data dot days worked equals new days worked. For set employee ID, employee dot or employee ID equals new ID. So now we have the employee specific information inside of this data structure right or inside of this structure right here. So all we have to do. is getting person dot that days worked equals what well, we're going to set it that to the temp value and enter employee id person dot that employee id temp value now we can print this out so person dot get days worked person employee ID person dot get employee ID just a lot of going back and forth so name Johnny age 25 dates worked 3 employee ID 23 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. and now we have it all printed out like so. So we have our person days worked and person employee ID. Those are the values that are defined in our structure right here. And this can be just passed around pretty much anywhere. So any class that we would want to have an employee, you know, employee data, which I guess would actually only be to a person. So this could be more something more specific, such as, um, mechanic logs or something like that or mechanic I don't know something very specific you could just take this structure and put it in specific classes that only that class would be really using so it could have specific information to specific classes such as you know a person class doesn't need uh, let's see what would it would it need I don't even know. My brain's not fully functional right now. So a car class wouldn't need amount of water bottles drank. A person would. So we could have like person related data structure. We could have a vehicle related data structure. We could have like I have up here. A weapon damage related data structure. Or just structure. And all that kind of stuff. You, and you can kind of extend this to however you wish. There's really not, I don't know how to explain it. Like there's not really much to it. It's just a separate chunk of data is a way to look at it. So instead of having, you know, a bunch of variables here, name, date of birth, employee ID, days worked, uh, hire date, that kind of stuff, the list would just grow massively. You could have that all in one structure.
and then have that structure be right here. And that would be all. So realistically, the age and name should be right here inside of employee data. So that's generally how structures are used for the most part. There's other things you do with them. They're essentially classes. Yeah, like there's that's pretty much it. Like there's not anything really crazy there. So I just want to go ahead and get that done out of the way. Because in the next video, we're going to move on to enums. And that's something that is extremely useful. And I use pretty often. So for example, I have an enum here based off of the hit location. And I have a weapon ID enum here. And those all have very, these in my opinion are very useful as well. So, anyhow, that is, now this video is over. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, there is a link to my Patreon down in the description below. And if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord and ask away. So, I will see you in the next one. Take care.